On this video, let's discuss how to grow plants outside and how to go from something like this into something like... <laughs> so many plants! So here we have my outdoor water sprite tank. As you can see, it's doing very well. I've got lots of plant growth and I literally start, literally, literally started with one, one plant and it's just spread out throughout. Now water sprite's a pretty fast growing plant so you may not have the same exact results with every plant, but yeah, this one is a great starter if you're gonna try it. You can see we got some tadpoles that came in here. This one's about growing, you even got some legs on them. Um, I just leave the tadpoles in there. So you can see down there, I've got some subwasher tang. I'm trying to grow that outside as well. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to do outside, but we will see. Now down there, you can see a cherry shrimp. That was kind of a cool surprise because I did not put that in here. I don't know how I got in here. Uh, more than likely, it was on a plant. Uh, the water sprite I put in here was actually before I even had any shrimp, so I'm not really sure. Um, the only thing I can think is maybe the subwasher tang had it, but it seems a little too large for that to be the case. So this ta whole tank was simply done with just organic dirt, uh, similar to what uh, Dustin's fish tanks have shown us in the past. And I tried it out and it seems to work great. I gotta say so far, doing a dirted tank for plants seems to be the way to go. I haven't had to worry about fertilizing it or anything like that. Now that I may, be, may not be the case with all plants, but yeah, the water sprite has done very well in here. And I'm gonna explore this with uh, other plants and see how it goes. So real quick, I also see people sometimes ask, what is the difference between submerged and emerged? Uh, submerged is all the plants that are actually under the water. Similar to this one down here at the bottom. That's completely submerged, correct? So, And then we got a floating plant. You can still consider this submerged, but it's going to have some emerged leaves. Similar to this right here. And all this right here is emerged. And the plant and leaf structure will actually have a different appearance when it's immersed versus submerged. So here we have an immersed plant and here's a submer submerged plant growth. So with every type of plant you're typically going to have a, a big difference in the leaf structure. So you can compare the two. So the immersed is going to be a little more narrow where the submerged will be a little thicker. Once again every plant will be different but typically when it's immersed you're going to have more stiffer growth, the stems will be thicker, and you'll probably have a different color green to it. So I've had this 30 gallon tall sitting here, and I think it's time to put it to work. Uh, it is cracked, and I got it for free off Craigslist. Now, if it's cracked, why is it holding water? I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I left it out here, it started raining, and for the first few weeks it started to leak. Then it started to hold water after that. So it's probably got something blocking it up, maybe like leaf matter or just dirt, who knows. But the whole thing here is I'm just putting plants in here, so I'm not really worried about it draining out. If Even if it drains out, the plant should be okay. So what I did is I already went ahead and put dirt at the bottom. I just put about an inch or two at the bottom of this tank. Um, this is going to be the dirt I actually used because I couldn't find the organic dirt that I typically use. Jeez, uh, it's heavy. So some organic moisture retaining compost by Eco Scraps. I found that at my local Walmart and uh, figured I'd try it out. So I'm gonna put a light layer of pea pebbles or pea gravel on top of the dirt to cap it. So the reason I'm capping it is not because I'm worried about dirt going into the water column because once again, no fish. I'm not worried about that stuff. Um, I actually prefer some of it to go to the water column because I feel like the nutrients of the dirt spreads a little better into the water that way. But I need to cap it because what has happened when I put just dirt in there, it gets really light and fluffy. So when I try to put something in there, it kind of just falls apart. It doesn't really hold down the plant that well. So you put a light cap in there to help hold down the roots and keep the, the dirt compact. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and empty out the tank of all the water. Uh, I'll wash off the uh, pea gravel and then I'll place it in the tank and we'll go ahead and plant something in there and refill it with water. And I'll get back to you when we get to that point. So here you can see I put some pea gravel on top of the dirt. 
actually ran out so this end's not going to get any pre-gravel down here this quarter piece or whatever but it's okay i'm only going to have uh, one plant to start off with in here and i want to see what it grows out to in a couple months now that one plant i'm going to use is go ahead is going to be a crypt starts off with a nice oh, excuse me starts off with a nice root structure there so we'll go ahead and just plant that in there not too deep now I want to keep the uh, crown up above the rocks there we go so that's in there and hopefully in a couple months it'll fill up at least half of this that would be awesome we'll see crypt is kind of a slower growing plant so we'll see so I hope you enjoyed this week's video uh, if you did go ahead and give it a like uh, if you're new to the channel uh, give me a sub I always appreciate a new sub and uh, I've been uh, consistently dropping a video once a week every Friday but I'm actually gonna slow down a little here and take a step back and do it once every two weeks now and the reasoning for this is I started to feel a little rushed on this last video and I don't want to get to a point where I just put something out because I want to get it out on a certain day I feel like giving myself an additional week will allow me to take my time with it and give you something that has quality to it uh, and, and is actually I've actually done my research on I, I basically want to give you something that's worth watching right I'm not here to waste anyone's time and I want to be a reputable channel if you will um, it's it's what's best and I got a lot of YouTube I want to catch up on my, for myself because I enjoy watching YouTube as well and uh, I've been slacking lately missing a lot of good rate videos out there so uh, I'll do a little bit more of that as well so until next time I will catch y'all later